Short rows are a method of knitting partial rows that you use to shape your knitting. There's a lot of different ways to work these. I'm going to show you one of the more common ones, which is called the German short row or double stitch. So I've got a bit of stockinette here. And what I want to do is just work across the row until I get to the point where I want to stop knitting, turn my work, and knit back. In other words, just create a partial row. All right, so I've turned my work, bring my yarn to the front of my work, and I'm going to slip that first stitch purl-wise. Then what I want to do is pull my yarn over the right-hand needle. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing, see if you can see it here, I am bringing those two legs of the stitch that I just slipped up and over the needle. That is the double stitch there. You're going to bring your yarn to the front, and you're just going to purl back along the row. All right, I've purled back, and now I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to knit along the row. So let's say here. All right. Turn my work. My yarn is to the front. Slip that stitch purl-wise. And again, bring my yarn over the needle back to the front, and there is that double stitch again. Purl back. All right, so you can see we've worked three partial rows. That's giving that diagonal slant. You can also see we have these kind of gnarly gaps where we've worked our short rows. I'm going to show you how to close them up now. So you're going to knit across, and again, you will know there is your double stitch. There's the slight gap it's created. And all you do is insert your needle into those two, well, they're not really two stitches, it's the, the stitch that you've pulled over, and knit that together into one stitch. Continue knitting. I do tend to work these very tightly just to make sure that that gap is closed. Let's knit to the next one. There it is, very visible. Insert your needle through both legs and knit them together. All right, so there is your completed swatch of German short rows. You can see that you have created a nice diagonal, and it is really an invisible method of working those partial rows. That's something that I like about it. Um, however, there is one drawback. So here is the sample swatch that I showed you at the beginning, and you can see on this side, very invisible. So just as a tip, I love this method, but I would not want to work it on anything reversible just because the wrong side is so visible. So this is the German short row or double stitch. Thanks for watching.